But what if I'm having a bad day? You know, my maid just stole my dodo and you expect me to like... <laughs> oh yes, walk to the nearest table, pick up a glass, realise it was made of plastic and pick up a glass bottle and go to smash the guy from behind because I'm drunk, right? Hey guys, welcome to part two of this conversation. If you guys haven't watched part one, please go and watch first. And then watch this part. And then watch this part. Because one, two... Okay, next one. Last one. Okay. Uh. A leader. A leader. A leader. Mm. A like the, like Leonidas. Yeah. You know Leonidas is who? Leonidas. I know. Yes. King Leonidas. King Leonidas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Four lah. Four hundred. Four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is three hundred, though. No? Yeah, yeah. Right? I just. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of waiting for your wife mm. to take the initiative when you're mm. having problems, take the lead man, get in the game and create what you want for your family instead of whining about your family situation. This is what I said earlier. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I actually you're I expect that. Take the lead. No. Anyway, okay, no. Just I don't anyone, expect. right? Like if there's a problem. Fix all of it. Yeah, right. don't just right. sit around. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyone who has the better idea. Right, right. Right. I, if, like, for example, if all there's a family problem going on and then I ask my wife for advice and my wife has the better idea, my idea is, fuck them, ma, don't meet them ever again. Mm. Mm. But my wife say, hey, I think you should talk to them. Okay. Whoever has the better idea, go ahead with that, lah, right? Mm. I mean, if everything also you one person decide, then the whole family, the whole life will be revolved around the decisions that you make, good or bad. Leh. I yeah, it's is... a relationship for a reason. It's a two-way street. Mm. Yeah, it's 100 and 100, by the way. It's not <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. But I think that where it gets complicated is that when you have kids and both of you are no Ooh. longer, you know, you, you both... Okay, so it's okay in a lot of relationships when one partner sacrifices for the sake of the relationship. Mm. Because usually, yes, one partner will do more of the sacrificing and, and give way. But then when, it, when a child is involved... And both of you thinking you're acting in the best interest of a child, then both of you can c- really come to hits if the communication is not there. And then in that case, the question arises, who is the leader? Mm. For example, like, if, okay, for example, if I believe that I really want to take my child to China, for a Chinese New Year back home in KL uh. because my family is there. Uh. But the father says, no. Uh, because every time he comes back from KL, he gets very sad, cries for days, doesn't want to go to school, doesn't focus in school. Uh. Now we we got a problem. Someone needs to give way. Is it going to be my family that gives way? Or is it going to be him? You know, is he going to essentially not really be protecting his child in that sense? Yeah. Someone will have to give way. That is where really like your ability to like negotiate, communicate, f- uh, and problem solve really come into play. Yeah, that's a leader to me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So then... In that sense, both of you need to be good leaders and good advocates and good communicators. I think it's very like, you know, at one point of time, yes, okay, we as women, we could say, never mind, we let our husband lead. But in that sense, we sometimes take a back seat. And I don't think that that's very good because sometimes we feel that we know our children the best. Mm. Maybe our husband doesn't know the best. We are with the child. I mean, if you're a mom, a stay-at-home mom, you are with the child most of the time. Mm. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would believe the one. Not say I would believe. So do I believe that a man needs to be a leader? No. Uh, I mean, do I believe that I need to be led? No. But do I believe a man needs to be a leader in his own right or have the ability to lead? Yes. Mm. I agree with you. Right. What if your child wants to support Man City instead of Man United? Oh my God. Kick him out. <laughs> but we, we won't fight. We won't fight. We won't fight. Hey, plastic fan. The fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Kick him out. You think you, you, you Why if they want to support Navi Liverpool? Navi will buy yeah. you one blue shirt Yeah, And, and after that you're done You get out of my house And, oh, and you know what? Man, your husband said No, it's okay It's still Manchester My boyfriend yeah. will not say anything He will say You don't even buy him the blue shirt Here's $10 Take a cap Go and stay with Uncle Dew The Manchester City <laughs> <laughs> You like Manchester City? Yeah, yes. I will gladly take Kai in Oh, wow you Don't black, say black. the name Yeah you can take him in Uncle Dew will take you in You can uh, stay in his house And eat yeah. chips on the sofa and then I invite Kiara Kitty Because he's a fan of Kiara Oh my god No Is no he? he's, he's, the same. he's the same When Kiara comes to the house He just hangs around her Oh, He just looks at her And then he will be like wow. Oh so cute Giga. No it's crush. not cute Oh, Not cute Do I want what, Do I want him to be One of the men Who buy her gamer Bath water one day do you do you want that kind of son? Maybe if he's like really balling and he's like, you know what? I'll just, I would just give pay twenty five dollars for fat. Uh, 
Yeah, how? Yeah. Like that, how? Would you? Like I would, no lah. She he didn't advocate for it. I would, <laughs> I would, I would be very Just upset. Just getting for my... the consensus first. <laughs> well, okay, uh, woman, is it weak if uh? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that, that you sounded like a leader woman. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not I'm, I'm just I'm just being a producer I'm not being a leader Call her ass Woman Yes I'm messing up my hand It's men. respect Okay men yeah. Yeah. Okay. No because you guys Were in a, in a conversation I'm like okay. See, Woman come. Yeah Is it weak if a man Is always asking you For solutions No Women love to be asked Yeah, we, yeah love we love to, give love to be asked. That's the first time I hear this kind of thing. What do you mean? You love to we love to give mean? advice. But what if if it's too much and then you realize you cannot rely on him anymore? I don't feel like there's ever a point where someone asking you for advice or solution will make you feel like okay, they're useless. You know what I mean? Mm. Life is hard as it is. Huh, I, You're always what? looking out. And searching for help, what? I mean, it's as simple as now. I say I have a problem, right? I would yeah. choose which friends to ask for advice for from. You get what I mean? Yeah, but I think like in a relationship, also there's something about that that intimacy and closeness with a partner that every time there's something going on, or at least for me, like I feel like I always talk to my partner about that. Yeah. Hmm. Or it, or if it if you're close enough, if something's on your partner's mind, you cannot just like ignore it or not. You mm. you definitely know something's ha- like something's mm. up. Like like why are you not discussing? You obviously me, don't know, you know me. What I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will ignore until she open her mouth. Okay. Yeah, oh. you don't want to tell me why must I guess? No, but why know, would but you? Like, but then, isn't it like uncomfortable for you? Yeah. Yeah. Like she's feeling but, down. Yeah. yeah I mean, you but ask if I ask, you say mm, nothing. Okay. Oh, okay lah. In that yeah. sense, then sure. But if yeah she's la. coming to you for advice yeah, okay, and okay, she la. keeps asking you for help and telling you about like her issues, will there be a point of time where you feel like weak? Are you? Why you cannot think for yourself? I would. I wouldn't say that she's weak. Yeah. I would think that if let's say the problems are similar, and then I would give her a, the. I mean, I would tell her honestly lah that maybe if let's say if it's a job problem, that like mm. every time you got problem mm. job, I would just tell her then maybe you're not cut off for the job lah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's one thing to ask for solutions, mm. but it's the one thing to respect the solution and then to carry it out. Like you asking me for my opinion, I give you my opinion. So I think that's where you're coming from. If I keep giving you the same advice, yeah, right. you're not really asking. listening to my advice. But you ask me for the advice. That is really annoying. Like people who ask you, like, what do I do about this friend situation? They keep asking you, but they never like actually listen to what you say. Then they're just treating you as an emotional tampon or free therapist. Yeah. yeah. Or like a then that's not back, okay, lah. Yeah. La. Mm. But generally, I I called you very often for advice and, and yeah, um, I don't think like I, don't I mean think with, you don't know because yeah. after that I called Muna. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we, <laughs> with regards to your question itself, I don't see it as someone being weak asking for help. You know what I mean, or asking for advice or or to solve an issue. I I'm, I think I have faced that before, like someone just yeah. keep asking me. Like, but in that sense, lah, where they keep asking you and they don't actually do anything about it. Yes, and it's like the. It's like, for example, some problems are right, is things that you really cannot run away from. You, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I can tell if you're just complaining, mm-hmm. you know, and I can tell if it really affects you. Mm-hmm. But this one is like, for example, this person is in a job, and this always happens. But it is like that. Like for, oh, I don't know how to explain. Like imagine you're uh, today you're working at an agency, and client is asking for ridiculous amounts of changes. Fam, always happens. Mm. Always yeah, fucking yeah. happen. I know it's annoying. I've been there. I know it's annoying. Mm. But it's always the same type of complaints. Like blah, okay. blah, blah, blah. Then I would just say, I won't think you're weak. Yeah. But at some point, no. Actually, I would think you are weak. Yes, actually, I would think you're weak to be in that job. Right. Right, right. right. You're not right, cut right. out. Yeah, for you're it. not yeah. cut out for the job. Get out of the goddamn job. Right. I'm, I'm saying you. Wait. I didn't. Yeah. I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Agree. Okay, fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 100% Woman <laughs> <laughs> Men Okay last question Is it okay Stop. If your your Okay this is There's no way to judge this okay. But okay. is it okay If your man is less intelligent Oh la Cute <laughs> <laughs> I love it So cute I love like, no, you like, you like, like your, okay. If your boyfriend PSLE 160 Oh my god Cute yeah. is that, That's is my that? PSLE score no 160 No 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 PSLE I did horribly Like 16 Between like 160 16-ish That okay. sort of thing Yeah So, so would you find it hard in a, in a partner To have a PSLE score 160 <laughs> I wouldn't say hot, but I don't see it as an issue th- if he's less intelligent than I am. Right. 
as long as he love me and care for me and is kind to people, mm. I think that's okay. Right. Yeah. What about Jackie? I don't think you could, right? You strike me as quite like a sapiosexual. What the fuck is a sapiosexual? Yeah. 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 Intelligent people. Yeah. It is oh. inter- attracted to intelligent people. I mean, you, I've only people. met your girlfriend for like 10 seconds, but right. she seemed like she is intelligent. Like yeah. she seemed like an intelligent person. Yeah, she's 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 well put well, together. Yeah, well she's put she's together. Well smart. She she does a lot of stuff. Uh. She's yeah. very passionate. I think that's what I'm like attracted to, like her passion oh. for just life and how she is sometimes very emotional but like I, I find myself to be sometimes quite emotionally constipated so when I see someone expressing themselves like I find that attractive yeah so nice I stand I, you guys I probably am the stupider one between the two lah but you know oh. yeah. <laughs> wow for you it's very hard it's very hard to be smarter than you I date. know but uh. all my boyfriend I generally date guys who are like smarter than me uh. yeah like, actually like I won't say biblically what the fuck biblically <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean like on the books la, book smart la. Uh, oh. book smart, but also smart smart. Like I Street need smart la. Yeah, I need men who are very smart because I get myself into really big problems. Mm. You know, if you guys like if you follow my life, you know I'm always in some form of trouble. Mm. You know, sometimes with the law. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes oh. I'm causing trouble for the law. So I need a guy who's smart. Yeah. Because you know, you you just need to, you, yeah. need, you need that. <laughs> I mean, as a guy, I really don't mind being a dumber one. But I mean, it's very hard to be the smarter one for me. Right. No, it's very hard to be a smarter oh. one. Like for me, because I don't have any education. But you're street you I mean? smart. Yeah, I'm street yeah. smart. So if like let's say, math thing, uh, finance, uh, my mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, right. cannot! I cannot. I'm so dumb. I'm so bad at math. I can't do basic. I mean, there's a lot of Excel sheets uh, these days, but there's a lot of oh. Excel sheets these days. Yeah. Excel sheets. <laughs> oh, it's so tough. I can't. Just yeah, sum equals sum. I can't. I'm you dyslexic. don't know Excel? You can use chat I'm GPT. dyslexic. Chat GPT. I really cannot yeah, yeah, j- it's chat great. GPT. Oh, calculator lah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you have to use a calculator, but I'm dyslexic. Oh. Dyslexic, then, yeah, then you can't even partner. use. Yeah, yeah, I have to ask him to use. And you know, he's so smart. He plays chess for fun. It's <laughs> so cute. I think she's bluffing about the dyslexia. I think she's just lazy. No, I have an article. <laughs> oh my God. I have an article Dude, about this. Don't discount no, people's... Hey, wait, wait, wait. What you... What you Think that Jay will not do that. So, I'm sorry, I got dyslexia. No, I she, she, she just don't want to count. Do you this. think Jay will do that? Look at this. Yeah. Look at this, guys. <laughs> this is an article about What's my it? dyslexia on the Dyslexia Association website. Oh. Wow. Okay. Written in 2013. Who is? When I was eight, my mother took me to see a doctor. And guess who it was? It was Dr. Lee Weiling. Oh. As in Lee Long's sister. Oh. Yes. And she diagnosed that I had dyslexia. Wow. And recommended me... For oh. treatment So, so I actually good. have special needs But when you put okay. that On the DSA website DAS Then all the dyslexic Maybe people you go you have dyslexia All the dyslexic people go How they read <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the DSA My friend actually works there DAS DAS DAS, DAS. 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 I have, I have, yeah, I also. It's a genuine question <laughs> It's like why are there signs in yeah. a it's like in a blind school? Shouldn't there be more ways to uh, communicate to the dyslexic? <laughs> so we've come to the end of this episode. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys liked it. Really, do? Hope you guys liked it. After why? That. Why? Okay, you close there. You close. You are laughing, but you don't. You see. You I enjoy. am appalled. I didn't enjoy. <laughs> I am just appalled at how quick it was <laughs> and how he went on to say DSA when it's DAS. Yes, yeah. This is just <laughs> stamping on the phone. They do good work. Can by you the way. Oh she my goes goodness. there to give a speech and then they give her. Okay, anyway, we've like come to cuts. the end of the episode. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed watching us chat yeah. <laughs> in chaos. Uh, if there's anything else you want us to talk about, just let us know. Till then, see you at the next episode. Bye.